Hello friends, welcome to Java E E J P J P A tutorial. Now you are watching part three of the sub series stateful session bin. So in this example, we will create a HTML form inside a JSP file. And in the next video, we will consume the uh, stateful session bin which we created in the previous video. So in this video, we will just create the HTML form. So uh, these are all the slides from uh, our uh, previous uh, parts, previous two part I mean. So in the first part we learned about the stateful session beam. In the last video, we created a remote interface which has a four function. Then we implemented that remote interface as a stateless, uh, as a stateful session bin. Now we will create a HTML form. So here if you see, even though we create a HTML form in this uh, example, we create a file called shoppingcart.jsp inside our web application. So in the previous example, stateless session bin, we doesn't create any uh, web part, we directly use the servlet and here we are using a html form to actually submit some user input and this html form is inside a jsp file and the jsp file name is a shopping cart and this html form submit the form field information to this shopping cart.jsp method we apted post all right now here we have place item into shopping cart in just a static text next if you see we have an input field this is where user will enter the product name okay type is text size then value we kept it as empty next name we placed it as purchased or shopping cart item so here we just kept some arbitrary name purchased next if you see we have four submit buttons so this is submit 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 there are four submit button and name we are giving a same name cart action cart action cart action and cart action so when we are processing this html file we will get the form field for the element cart action but to know which one is clicked by the user we will make use of this value so here we say add to cart so the value will be entered here add to cart that's one button the second one is remove from cart list items in the cart and the empty cart and if you see all these are mapping to the functionality exposed by our uh, a remote interface so if we execute this uh, JSP file you will see place item into shopping cart which is here place item into shopping cart next if you see here we have a submit but sorry input to text and that's displayed here then we have four submit buttons and you can see all these submit buttons are displayed here so the value whatever we provided had to cut that is displayed here had to cut remove from cut list items in cut and empty cut so 
this value we will retrieve when we are processing this form and we will take the appropriate action all right that's all here in this video we will create this uh, form now let's go to the demo so we should go to the ejp web this is the web application dynamic web application which will consume the stateful session bean and its functionality through the web client here we have the remote interface okay now in the web application i'm creating a new jsp file and naming this jsp file as shopping cart.jsp so here i'm clicking next and new jsp file jsp with html markup so that's the template i am using here and i'm clicking finish so if you see here this is our uh, jsp tag right okay we will add code here in the next video which will provide dependency when we are using the jsp and okay anyhow we added the comment let it be there so inside the body we create our html form you can download the source code from the video description in the previous video also the source code was provided in the video description so you can download the code from google drive all right now our html form is ready we will add our ejb ear and if you see our ejb bean contains two bean now one is a stateless session bean and the other one is the shopping cart uh, stateful session bean okay so we just added it now we will start the server So you can always make sure that your beans are listed out in the console. Uh, so this one is from our uh, previous uh, example from hello bean from a stateless bean and shopping cart remote and shopping cart is from stateful session bin. All right, now we'll just check whether this form is displayed properly. So I'm just expanding the source. It will be here in the web content, shopping cart.jsp. So I'm just right clicking that and choosing run as run on server. Next, click finish. It may take some time. So our form is displayed and 
all these are uh, submit button so if you click now since we doesn't have any processing nothing happens the same JSP will get loaded each time all right in the next video we will do the actual processing so what you user will do user will type the product name say for example so this is how they will add so likewise they will add and when they click list items in the cart it should show all three items also they can remove the item by typing the name or they can empty the cart so those stuff we will implement in the next video so as usual we will stop our ear project so once you see undeployed you can remove this then stop wildfly server that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye